Hey guys, so it's Wednesday night, I'm over at Harlequin's Blackpool, we've got the usual things on, we've got Pokemon, we've got D&D, and we've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but mainly I'm here to show off the new things that have just come out, so we'll start with the... Get straight into the fray with the new... Uh, oh God, I'm knocking things over again. Ah, uh, Starfinder Core Rulebook, which has just come out, it's £45. It's from Piazzo, and it's the same guys that did uh, Pathfinder. We've got the main core rulebook in, and we've got the gem screen in, and I'm going to try and put that back without wrecking absolutely all of it. Oh, God. Evie's going to go mad as I wreck all the things. There, that's kind of in. Yep, so Starfinder, new roleplay game from Piazzo. It's uh, Pathfinder in space. It looks really, really awesome. And so if you uh, fancy giving that a go, we've got it in both stores. Don't forget, all these games are predominantly in both stores. We've got a couple of games in from uh, Pegasus. Uh, we've got Sheep Thief. Uh, these are lighter, sort of more fun in between games. Uh, this is a, I think is a worker placement game where you're basically gathering sheep up or you can uh, attempt to steal your opponent's sheep to end up with them, uh, the most sheep at the end. Uh, two to four player games, only about 25 to 30 minutes, or 20 to 40 minutes long, 23.50. Uh, we've got Frog Riders, uh, another one from Pegasus. Uh, basically, Frog Riders is kind of like a really fancy drafts game where you ride frogs over your opponent's frogs, but you have power cards and all sorts of other stuff. So you get 54 Frog Rider units, some cards, and all sorts of other bits and pieces. And that one looks really, really fun. I got these in because of the names and because they look really good fun to play. So yeah, Frog Riders, £27. So both of them under 30. They look awesome. Uh, they're the new ones there. The other big one that's just come in uh, is Unearth. Um, ooh, and I'm wrecking everything again. Oh, there we go. So this one is by Jack Jason Harner and Matthew Ransom. Uh, I haven't had a chance to have a good look at this. It only, it only arrived yesterday. Uh, so it's an eight player plus game. It's 30 to 60, sorry. Oh, an eight age plus, that's better. Two to four player game, there we go. Um, so yeah, you reclaim, rebuild and remember. I think this is sort of like a, almost a worker placement. Oh, maybe not. Five dice, represent your team of Delvers. And each turn you get Delver cards to enhance your efforts to get more stuff. So basically you're digging up old things to win the game. Like I said, I didn't get an awful lot of chance to have a, a good look at that because it's it literally only just come in. So I'm going to try and reset all of this. So no, I'm not. There we go. Everything's falling off. And pick that up. There we go. So that's the new things. I don't think there's anything else that's just come in. We do still have odd bits and pieces left of other new releases. We've had a restock of Plague Inc. Uh, which we played the other night with uh, Mick, and that was awesome fun. If you've played the app version of it, that is absolutely brilliant fun. I played that and absolutely loved it. Um, they basically, you're trying to destroy the world. Can you infect the world? Uh, there's a load of things. Probably the thing you've seen on this is the app version of it, which is really, really popular. The, the really good thing about this is it's a one to four. So you, uh, you, don't, you can play that by yourself if you want as well. And we've got odd copies of bits and pieces like Ticket to Ride Germany, Valletta, Banana Bandits, Merchants of Arbery. All the games that came in last week were down to our last odd copy of. Um, so yeah, so if you want to get them, be quick and get down. Uh, on that one, um, I think that's about it. There is no big new Pokemon come out. There's no big Yu-Gi-Oh come out. We're waiting for the new releases on those. Uh, we have one terraforming Mars left. If you missed the boat on that one and haven't yet grabbed one. And I think we've got one Dark Souls left as well. Yes, we do. We've got one Scythe and one Dark Souls left as well. So if you've, if you've not grabbed either of those two and you fancy giving that a go, you can do. Uh, this is Harlequin's Blackpool, if you haven't seen it. Have a look online for the video of how to find us if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, please like, share and subscribe our videos guys. Me and Mark are going to be doing some more fancy ones soon, so uh, take care.